Hey YouTube, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to get a ton of objects, stickers, uh, logic, um, a costume, uh, the credits music, a bunch of stuff that was never actually given away in the Little Big Planet 3 story. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you how to get some of those. Uh, in the description I have an lvp.me link to a level that was put together by HF Miles and LemurBoy12. So uh, go in the description, uh, click the link, and queue that level. And uh, when you're done, go into Little Big Planet and play the level. Um, this is just a massive giveaway of a bunch of stuff that was uh, not given out in the story, like I already said. So um, I'll just be kind of going through and looking what everything is, but if there's something interesting about it, I'll just you know, say what it is, but, uh, yeah, uh, the music right now it's playing is the credits music, and he gives that away in the level, so, here we go. Here's the, uh, decoration of Bunkum. whoops, up. can you get it? I uh, can't hit these buttons. Uh, here's the uh, toggle costume uh, that was never given away from that one casino level, so here it is. Uh, this is a spoon that was never given away in the move pack, but uh, he just gave it away here because why not. Here's a bunch of stickers, which are pretty cool, like uh, company logos and the Japanese LVP3 logo and stuff like that. Decoration mount. Uh, this is actually the credits, which were put onto a uh, a note, which is pretty interesting. So yeah, you can just place the credits whenever you want to. Uh, here's the credits music. One of them has logic attached, so it repeats the uh, energy song instead of continuing with the rest of it. I like this hat a lot. <laughs> I wish that was a costume. <laughs> oh, this text actually changes with the language you have, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, here's the, all the logic. Uh, after all, after I get done with the level, I'm gonna show all these in detail. So here's all of them. Sadly, the HUD one does not work in the PS4, only the PS3. So. But I'll explain all that later. Here's Zom Zom's little logo thing. I can't hit these buttons. I like this record, it looks cool. Here's the little thing that Newton traps you in. Uh, here's a bunch of uh, Marlin clips from the story mode, so that's pretty funny. But you have to wait for them to stop talking, <laughs> or else the note won't show up. Here's some more logic, which I'll show. Here's some old uh, wormhole thing, and here's the decoration. He never joined, I don't know how he left. <laughs> Alright, so now uh, after you get all these objects, I'm going to I'm gonna uh, show you how to, um, or how to use the uh, logic. Um, these logic pieces, since you're not, like, you weren't able to, uh, hang on. Since you're not supposed to be able to get these, uh, they're not completely finished. Like, some of the icons are messed up, and, you know, they don't look, you know, perfect. But, um, 
yeah one thing you have to take in mind though is whenever you take it out in order to uh, use it you have to place it down and hover your pop it over it and then that'll kick you back to the pod and then once you go back in the level you'll be able to uh, tweak it just fine all right so here's the uh, platform sensor uh, this lets you choose between PS3 and PS4 so like it can detect which one you're on so this can be really cool like if you're making a level whoops sorry about that uh, sorry people um, if you're making a level and you have like a bunch of scenery and maybe it lags on the PS3 you can use this so like if it detects you have the PS3 maybe it'll you know destroy some of the stuff so that's cool um, this is the filter uh, it has a lot of cool options where um, you can like set how much of something is so like here's a battery and um, whoops and I don't think the maximum works maybe only the minimum I'm not sure it's, it's kind of glitchy as with all these are because you know they weren't weren't really finished so let's see I got this to work earlier I have the set max the max set to 60 but oh yeah there we go so like it kinda limits the output to whatever you set it at and it's pretty cool it also has a different uh, thing for toggling but I don't know how this works really like basically if it's on it lets you you know go, go all the way up and down but if it's off it just doesn't output anything so it's still really interesting though uh, this is the HUD tool it's really cool because like um, it's like a microchip like with sticker panel and you can put stickers all over it and it'll actually display on the screen if you're on PS3 so sadly if you're on PS4 it doesn't work but I can still kind of show you the, op the uh, options in it so uh, here's the transmit mode uh, here's how it displays I think this is like uh, how far it is in the screen here's what the input can do here's the uh, on animation, off animation. There's just a lot of really cool stuff in here. I don't know why they never finished all this. It would have been really good. So here's some of the stuff. This is like the opacity right here. And yeah. So that's the HUD tool. I wish I could show it, but I don't have the PS3 version of this game. Uh, this is the uh, background tweaker. And all it can really do is remove the background so yeah it's kind of like a one-time thing but yeah um but this is really cool though uh this thing this thing is really cool um it lets you change like the color of i have it set to sticker panel right here it lets you ch like make super specific colors which is really cool the middle here, hold on, let me set everything to zero. Um, the top is red. Uh, the middle is green. And the bottom is blue. And you can, this is just an RGB scale, and you can just change and get the exact color you want. So that's really, really cool. And you can mix colors together. So there's like a, a cyan looking color. Here's a purple or a pink. And, uh, yeah, it's just super cool. I don't know why they never finished any of these. These are, these are really cool. And obviously they work, mostly, so. Hang on one sec. There we go. So, yeah, um, these are a bunch of stuff that Sumo never gave you. I don't know why they didn't. They all seem really cool. And, uh, yeah, uh, Thanks to uh, HF Miles and LemurBoy12 for putting it all together. I um, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the glitch. Uh, and follow me on Twitter at GlitchMaster7.
Okay. Goodbye.